Hi, I'm Noel from Zynerd. Zynerd is India's smartest counseling information portal. In this video, we are going to look at the qualification and qualifying examination codes for NEET UG 2023. There are seven codes in total. Let's look at which code is the right one for you. Before we get started with the codes, let's look at the subjects for all the codes. All the candidates who are appearing for the NEET exam should have passed the examination with these four subjects, which are physics, chemistry, biology or biotechnology and English. There are three conditions here. The first is if you are a candidate who is appearing or pass their qualifying examination in an Indian board. The second is if you are a candidate who has returned their pre-medical or pre-professional examination abroad. The third is if you are a candidate who has finished their education from a foreign board or an international board. Let's look at the condition number one. If you are a candidate who is appearing or pass their qualifying examination in an Indian board. The Indian boards are given below. CBSE, ISE, State Board, Intermediate Board, Pre-University or Pre-Degree, NIOS which is the National Institute of Open Schooling, State Open Schools and also private candidates from recognized state boards. If the answer is yes, then let's move to the next condition. Which year did you appear for the qualifying examination of the Indian board? If you are appearing for the qualifying examination in 2023, then you will have to fill code 1. If you are a candidate who has already completed their qualifying examination in 2022 or earlier, then let's go to the next condition. The different conditions are mentioned here. The first condition is if the candidate has completed their qualifying examination from CBSE, ISC, Open School or from a state board. The second option is if the candidate has finished their pre-degree or pre-university. The third option is the candidate has finished their first year of the three-year degree course. The fourth option is the candidate has completed their BSc examination. Let's look at the option number one. If the candidate has passed their examination in CBSE, ISE, Open Schooling or from a state board, then they have to select code two. If the candidate has completed their qualifying examination in a pre-degree or pre-university, then they have to select code three. If the candidate has passed their first year of a three year degree course, then they will have to select code 5. Please also note that the candidate should have passed their earlier qualifying examination with physics, chemistry, biology or biotechnology and English. Next is the candidate has passed their BSc examination. There is a condition given here. The candidate has passed their BSc with at least two of the subjects, which is physics, chemistry, biology or biotechnology and English is compulsory. Please also note that the candidate should have passed their earlier qualifying examination with English, physics, chemistry, biology or biotechnology. Next, we look at candidates who have completed their pre-professional or pre-medical examination abroad. The candidates who have finished their pre-professional or pre-medical examination abroad should select code 4. Please note that the candidate should have passed their higher secondary or pre-university or an equivalent examination before this. Next, we go to candidates who have completed their qualifying examination in a foreign or international board. Such candidates should select code 7. Please note that the exam should be found equivalent to an intermediate science examination of an Indian university or board. If you have any queries or doubts regarding the examination codes, please drop a comment below. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found this video useful. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel for watching more informative videos like this.